Hey, I'm Kelsey. Welcome to Everything Dolls. Today I'm doing a video on 10 expensive Barbies you might own. So the reason why I say you might own them is because most of these dolls aren't collector dolls necessarily. These were dolls that were widely available. You could find them in stores and suddenly the value and demand of them has increased a lot. Let me know in the comments if you own any of these dolls. Let's get started. These are the Barbie in a ponytail movie dolls, Max and Marie. So they're twins, they came in a two pack, so I'm just gonna count them as one doll. Every once in a while you'll see these dolls pop up online, but they are very hard to find. And they have been for a very, very long time. In the movie Barbie in a Ponytail, these two are the cousins of Barbie, Stacy, Skipper, and Chelsea. They're smaller than Stacy, and I don't believe any other Barbies have been released in this size. I just think they're so cute. So I remember trying to find them, and one day I saw one pack of them at Kmart, and I couldn't buy them right away. So the next time I came back to that Kmart, of course, they were gone and it was so sad because I never saw them again. And not long after that, the value of them online just skyrocketed. A few years later, they popped up online and I was able to get them new in the box. I did take off his glasses. He does not have them on right now. His hair was also really gelled down to the point where it was like on his face. So I had to clean that off. I think just in general, twin dolls are very popular. They are one of my favorites to collect. That could also be a factor of why they're hard to find. Really quick, I wanted to show these two because they're already very popular. This is the Jackson and Jayla two pack. They are twins and they're from the Barbie It Takes Two show. I think they're really cute and just again, twin dolls, very popular. The next doll is the Made to Move Dancer doll. She is the very first curvy Made to Move Barbie release. I love this doll, her hair color, her outfit. So her value has increased a little bit over the years. I would say she's more harder to find new in the box. But I love this doll, and I know she's also very popular. The next dolls are the Happy Family dolls, so I'm just gonna count these two as one. Um, Grandma, why are you looking so evil right now? She has a very loose head. <laughs> the value of these dolls have not decreased at all. I would say at least for the past five years or even more, the value of them has pretty much stayed the same. Both of these I bought secondhand. Grandma did not come with any clothes, so she is just wearing this random outfit I gave her. The grandpa I found at an antique store. His hair is a bit of a mess. I do have to still clean that up. He has some glitter in it as well. And he did not come with his shoes. So these two and any of the other Happy Family dolls, Midge Allen, they have always really been in high demand. I know a few collectors that have talked about this, but if the Happy Family line made a comeback, I think that would be so awesome. Next is the Hunger Games Gale Ken doll. He's not wearing his original outfit here. The other Hunger Games doll is PETA, and he also has increased in value. I don't think his face mold has been used again. Overall, he's a really nice Ken doll. The next doll is the Barbie Made to Move Skateboarder. The value of this doll has not changed. She has been a very popular doll ever since she was released. Within about a year of her release, her value started to increase a lot. And she was also released with the martial arts doll, which had the same exact thing happen. Her original outfit, she has a tank top, leggings, and a jacket. In the US, I believe this doll and the martial arts one you could find at Target. That was the most common place to find them. Next is the Barbie Look Sweater Dress doll. Again, not in her original outfit right now, but her original outfit is so beautiful. She has the Carl face mold, loved by many doll collectors. 
I really wish a similar doll of her would be released. I think that would be so cool. Just because I know a lot of people love her and kind of missed out on the opportunity to get her. So if that were to happen, I think that would be really awesome. Next is the Cookie Swirl Barbie. If you watched my older Stacy doll makeover video, I used this doll for her makeover. I bought her used. She did not come with her original outfit. The value of this doll has kind of gone up and down. When I went to buy her for my older Stacy, I could not find one at all and the prices for her were pretty high. Right now, they're much more reasonable, but the value of dolls can change, go up and down depending on demand. The next dolls are the Ryan and Ken Fashionistas, one of my all-time favorites. I love you. I did buy a few more of them recently, so I have this Ken and another Ryan. This Ken does need a little bit of help. He is looking similar to Rusty Ryan, so we'll fix him up in another video. The value of them has changed a little bit, and I actually think it's because there are made-to-move Kens out there now. There's a lot more Ken options to buy. They still have value and demand, but it's definitely not what it used to be. Next is the Batman vs. Superman Ken dolls. So both Batman and Superman have increased a lot. They both have these muscular, made-to-move-esque bodies. Basically the very first made-to-move Ken doll. I did not know they increased in value until I saw this Instagram comment. I don't think I've ever tried to take off his face mask. Okay, his head is coming off. That's not what we want. He has a very similar face to Hunger Games PETA, along with a random sparkle. Get out of there. I think one of the factors why they increased in value is this different body type. Also, they are pretty cool dolls. That is going back on his head. That is terrifying. The final doll, I get questions about her a lot, so I wanted to make sure I included her. This is the doll I use for my mini me, mini Kelsey. This is the Barbie Fashionista's Sporty Teresa doll, released in 2009. She is not wearing her original outfit again. And just in general, some of these fashionistas, the older ones, have increased in value by a lot. Let me know if you have any of these dolls shown in this video or any other dolls that have increased in value and demand. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!